off my feet. I've been riding for days. Days and days. Went all the way up to Canada. All the way down to Florida. Out to Texas, down into Mexico. Looped on back to what they call Baja, California. Took the high trail. Went up through Utah, Denver. Got a little glimpse of Montana. It's awful pretty up there. Shot through the uh, Great Lakes, Ohio. Something else, Wisconsin. The hunt was good and the work was wild and I had to chase some people that I didn't want to chase. And like I say, I'd rather bring them back dead than alive if I know there ain't no But all that's done for a minute, as I believe I'm gonna go see my sister. Enjoy that crazy stew that she makes. Mm -hmm. And she told me she'd been through uh, some ups and downs and put them to other things and tried to make more riches. And hell, I don't really understand how she does it, but she got a sense for these things and her mind puts it together like a jigsaw puzzle in the dark. But I could tell y'all one thing. I just want to play my banjo. I want to sing and I'm just tired of killing. I'm just tired of killing. Anyway, I got a telegram from my sister, I believe, and maybe uh maybe I can get it out here and see if we can read it for your all. I don't even know reckon where I am. I know that Jewish harp sounds as bad as it ever did. Let's see here. Let's sit down and Maybe I can read y'all a little tale. Let's see. Alley Cat? Yes, sir. What did that telegram say? Uh, currently, I'm in Blackwater. Dear Jack, I'm where? And where? Blackwater. Blackwater. Dear Jack, I'm in Blackwater, yada, yada, yada. Y'all heard it. Hey, we're live here with Alley Cat C people. Sit back, relax. If you like some stories, that's what we do here. I'm going to go visit my sister in Blackwater, I guess. Anyway, uh... Big storm coming Okay, where are you heading, honey? I'm heading over to Quaker's Cove. Quaker's Cove, I reckon. I don't know where that is. It's uh, just south of Blackwater. All right. So, uh, now, this horse right here, Blood, was my new horse, as y'all knew. Uh, we just traveled halfway around the, the damn world in this, this son of a bitch. He was pretty strong and good. Hey, buddy, look how tight we done gone, bro. He's a big, strong horse. If you ain't seen blood, he's red and he's black. And he's cool all over. That's big blood right there. Say hello to the audience there, blood. <laughs> Look at him. He almost smiled right at y'all. Y'all know it's true. Anyway. Take a look at this here map as we try to find our way to my sister. It's gonna be a hell of a homecoming. You know, here's the good news, dear Lorraine, I ain't far. Man, I ain't been up in this country in a long minute. This rain ain't making me more comfortable. But listen, there's blessings and there's blessings. seen rain like this since I was in Minnesota. Man. Or feel like God's angry with us. 
I had some crazy thoughts on my way over here as I look at this beautiful country. I thought, man, what about it? All these city slickers and everybody chasing all that money around. What if people stop looking at what we got right here? Anyway, got my horse halfway up in this river. <laughs> he ain't afraid of nothing. Big blood. Push. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Woo. <laughs> yep. Can't wait for a pot of that old stew. I know my sister's been fishing. Been designing a new place. She's got a homesteader. She also got that big old mansion in uh, right there in St. Denis. I think they call that place the mayor's estate. She done bought one of the biggest houses in that big, beautiful city. But like I was saying, what if people get all caught up chasing all that money and all their fancy stuff and just stop seeing all this nature, man? It really made me upset. I gathered myself together, played up a song. Yep, played up a song. Just as quick as it came. Well, Jack, are you nearby? I'm getting close, I think. Um, have, you joined, have you joined my posse, though? Because I don't see you on my server. Oh, wait a second now. Yeah, there we go. I'm heading, to, I'm heading up north of Armadillo next to meet the madam, your favorite gal. All right, uh, well. Yep. I think the dip, gypsy likes me. <laughs> Last time I was coming, I told her I'd be there and could have sworn she wore just a little extra perfume and a little extra scarlet on her lips. Might have been because she knew I was coming. Sure seemed that way. Sure did appreciate it, though neither of us said nothing about it. Just smiling back at each other under that crazy moonlight. Anyway, the gypsy's got an attitude and I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you a little crazy story. Now, wait a second. All right. Let me just check in at where I am. Quaker's Cove, you must be close by, huh? Oh, I just went to Armadillo, man. <laughs> I just went to Armadillo. Armadillo, like fast, that's all right. Fast traveling. All, I'm on the train as we Well, speak. as I often <laughs> say, people, but, part of the story is getting listen, to the story. Yes, listen, ma'am. But listen, yes, Jack, sit tight, do a little fishing. When I'm done, I'll meet you there. Or we can meet up somewhere else. No, you're making sense. You use the word yeah. fishing, and then you try to throw the word or into the sentence. The only or I'm going to need is one for a boat, lady. You ain't got to say fishing twice before or, I done made well, up my mind. Or the, moon, or the moonshine shack. Hell no, baby. Drinking Visiting don't beat fishing. Drill, eh? Drinking don't beat fishing. Not in my world, honey. Fishing tops everything. Horses come second. The gypsy comes third. After that, maybe comes moonshine. I get too drunk, <laughs> can't see nothing. Suddenly think I, I'm yeah. Gulliver's Travels. I, will tell I get you myself this, crazy. I, um, after this, after I visit the gypsy, I will be a rich woman. I will buy you your next drink. Well, you know what? I never, I never doubted it, lady. You know, you got away with the money. I never doubted it. Well, I'm up on top of this old rusty shed, as y'all can see, in the St. Louis River, the Rio Bro Bovonva. I don't know. I ain't got it right. I ain't technically educated in a proper way. Just got my own way with words. 
Hmm. Wonder what would happen if we stole this boat. Anyway, Jack, get them thoughts out your head. You ain't got to just be a damn bully because you can. All right. What's that thing that Hindu fella I met in New York said? Karma. It's exactly what you put out there is what comes back sooner or later, even if God's got a wicked sense of humor. I couldn't argue with him. Sure was right. I've seen a dozen times politicians wind up getting shot in the ass after acting like a jackass, for example. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we got here. There is no bait down. Well, let's get a stinky piece of cheese out here and throw it in this dusky river. My sister said she's coming as far as I'm concerned. Hey, my lady, if I can break character for a second, I want to say I got a lot of cool things planned for the uh, gaming channel coming up. We got some mill sims, we got some role play here, we got some GTA sports reduxes of different eras, all sorts of stuff. I'm going to try to bring you guys the most with my OBS, which I'll be using. Even these streams from the PlayStation will be going through OBS to kick. Like we kick in YouTube. And I appreciate you guys supporting the YouTube channel in any way, past, present, or future. Sorry to get all the James Carey, but anyway. I'm excited about doing more cool stuff on the channel. Alright, now a smart fisherman either changes his stroke, his bait, Dear Lorraine, don't rush. I'm enjoying the fishing. Just kidding. Love you. See you soon. <laughs> well, the old cricket works again. The old cricket. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Just my, my fishing technique just hit the wrong button. Anyway, look at this black river churning here, man. The St. Louis River. Right here in the dusky wild. My sister's coming, but we're gonna catch ourselves some fish here. I even have, for the gaming channel folks, breaking character one more time, the fishing sim world, which is pretty cool. And I like going to the South American lakes or the Texas big man-made lakes of California or Texas. All that work? Let's see what I pulled out of here. What is this beautiful piece right here? What is this, baby? Steelhead trout. Just beautiful. I think I will keep it. And you know, it turns out it really did like the cricket. I got more crickets. I got a big old barrel of these crickets and they're still just a squirming. But anyway, I was thinking of doing this with the fishing sim world. Go out there and then just muse on life. Maybe have one subject we can talk about while I'm out on the boat. That game is really cool. Howdy, Jack. Hey, I can't see behind me. I've got another steelhead on the line. I'm catching a few steelhead here. And then we can, uh, I don't know what they go for these days. I really couldn't tell you. Ooh, this thing got angry. It went underneath. It went down, but look, I'll tell you what. I do appreciate the little fella fighting, and I appreciate pulling him in. What do we got here, baby? 
let's pull it out. Let's pull it out. We got a beauty. Got a beauty. By the way, I'm using crickets. Another steelhead trout. Yeah, I think I will keep it. Crickets are working, love. And I'm using a special wow. river lure, a special river lure and crickets. This is what fishermen do. I'll never forget going up into the Catskills with my boy Joey Coldcuts, AKA Joey Rimatello, uh, and uh, my boy Anastasios, my Greek buddy, AKA Tom. I don't know where the fuck he came up with that. His name is like Anastasios. I'm like, wait, where the fuck do you come up with Tom? He's like, people call me Tom. This is just so Greek. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like I did a bad cast. Let me try this again real quick. Yeah, everything's okay. I'm just being wonky. Steelhead trout, nice. Nice baby doll. Grab as many as you can. I don't know what they go for. The sockeyed salmon. You caught a bunch of those. What were they going for? Ten bucks, I think. Ten a piece. So you caught five. How many could you get in your bag? Five or eight? I, I know what. I don't remember. I generally fish to eat. This is the thing. I'm using it as a business because I don't. I, I like. Again, you got to do what you love in this life, people. If you're watching this, understand. <laughs> A, a, a job is a job, is a career is a career, a calling is a calling. Right? I like the fishing, so I kind of, this is what I like doing, so I might as well do this for my economy. <laughs> but it don't make money the way collecting cards, exotic cards, and heirlooms does. My sister that's taught why, me that's that. That's why I do that trader role. I got one. Another one. This is number three. Hey, you know, I, what I like about this little mini game is it, uh, it does take its time. You know what I mean? Like, you got to... It's relaxing like fishing is, but it also requires technique, right? I mean, like, you go out there fishing and you're going to enjoy it because you're with your buddies. Or you got, you know, a sunset or a boat. But when you really catch fish or... We would go to the Catskills, I was going to say, and there would be dudes... Just going, hey, hey, the the uh, such and such a bait is hitting, such and such a bait is hitting up on this bend, you know, like, and the word would spread like wildfire. What's what's even biting? You know, what I mean, it's hard with fly fishing. You're not just using live bait. It's considered uh, a higher level of fishing to use these mock flies and or, or um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Gnats. Here we go. Another one. I got a third one. A steelhead. Let's grab another one. What do we got here, baby? Another five pound steelhead. Almost six pounds on this one. Let's keep it. And watch, it increases your health. Have you noticed this? Your health goes up while you're fishing, which is just so true. I feel like that about my horse job. I work at a horse farm three days a week. And I walk out of there and I feel healthier than I did when I got there. Now, y'all, river, wouldn't that be funny? Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. It's hey. awful cold, so I'm just going to back up before it happens. Now, y'all may think I'm a comedian, some sort of payaso, as they say down in Mexico, but nope, I'm just keeping it real. Man, is it good to see my sister. I should be uh, getting an eye full of her, but she's over there fishing too, and she's just more stubborn than a mule when she's trying to catch some fish. There we go. What's that? Anytime, really. Yeah, I'm technically just... she's stubborner than a mule, but she's just as charming as a donkey, if you ever met one. <laughs> and she looks like one, too. 
Well, he's more purdy than a donkey, but I have met some pretty charming donkey in my day. There's a new duck at the barn, honey, and oh my God, he's so cute. He's hilarious. Look at this piece of crap. Look at this piece of shit. What are you? What are you? An 11 ounce rock bass. Throw it back. Get back. Live a good life. Good luck to you, boy. Good luck to you. Oh, damn. And he fell in. Yep. Well, I got my feet wet. I know that. You, ca you called it. <laughs> equip, equip with the cricket bait. Yeah, might as well. Go ahead. But it was nice up on top of that shed, wasn't it? It's a good spot, man, I and mean, it's good for steelhead. And again, I want to keep a little journal here of all these spots. I feel like I've got steelhead spots, or excuse me, uh, salmon spots, and I got um, over at the uh, the grill. We got pike, giant pike. And that's the Cattail Pond Saloon, just in case you all need what they call an advertisement. <laughs> What's with Southern folks? Like, I've lived in the South and the North, and I have an affection for both, identifi identification with both, really. Um, but what's with people in the South mispronouncing shit as badly as they do? Do you think it's a little resentment sometimes? Advertisement? Really? Anyway. Where are you, baby? Where'd you go? Uh, to the left of you. To the where? To the left? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting back up on this. I've been lucky up here. I got three of these puppies. I'm going to try to get a fourth one. I caught one up there, but I... This is my spot. This is my spot. Look, there's a lot of little places you can go down there. Hang on, let me see if I can jump on top of this one. Let me see if I can jump up on here without getting thrown out of here. Might be some. But it's a beautiful location. It is nice. Walk around and check around. Getting some spidey senses out of this thing, though. What's what's here? Oh, you know what? There was a one on the. Let me look and see. Let me yeah, I got. I grabbed a little something, but I'm feeling something else moving now. Some sort of vibes. Hey, so let me ask you, how is Ubisoft? You've been, uh, you've been sticking with Ubisoft, huh? They just released this new pirate game, and the review is, eh. <laughs> That's the review on the new pirate game. That's meant to be like Black Flag Extended. Everyone's like, eh, whatever. Before I tap out of here, we might have fished this little bend in the river out. I don't know. Yeah, I think we might have fished this little area out, baby. Yeah, let's roll out of here, maybe, huh? Well, I tell you what. 
I might have a... Hey, hey, there she is. Hey, hey, crazy lady. Where'd she go? I fell in the water. Oh, she's all wet. Hey there, lady. This is Alley Cat right here. If y'all ain't met her, y'all know her now. Alley Cat and Jack are brother and sister and ain't seen each other in a long minute. They even missed her in the holidays. She's waving hello. And I'm going to go back to first person just so we can see her beautiful smile. Listen, try not to jump in that muddy river again there, beautiful lady. All right, she's nothing but an alley cat. That's why she calls herself alley catchy. All right. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to do what my highfalutin sister does best, which is make money. And uh, the way we're going to do that is probably collect some things. And I'd like to sell these fish and get a good tip on where this uh, steelhead situation is headed. Not to sound funny. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of the town that's got a butcher, but I would like to see, um, and maybe there's a different price in different towns. I couldn't tell you. Let's uh, go check out Blackwater. Blackwater is a good place. Oh, look at this big boy. Come on down here, boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'll tell you what, that horse put his head on my shoulder today. Put all of his weight on me and said, hey, yeah, you're going to have to endure a horse hug. You ever have a horse do that to you? That was the damn cutest thing you ever saw. Of course, I can't hold the weight of a horse up. He thinks I can. So he puts all of his weight on me. Big old buddy. Ah, big old buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Are you tricky? Are you tricky? Want to show these people how tricky you are? Look at that. That's a pretty fella. He's got skills. Yeah, my buddy got skills. He's also a good boy. Right, yeah. let's do it. We'll give him a little horse meal. Look at this. Look at this, what I done made. Look at that. Is that high level grain? He loves that. It's got molasses, oats. Yep, some supplements. A little apple. He loves it. My horse is fine. There you go, buddy. Yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Oh, wow. It was there, and now it's gone. What happened? Well, if that ain't elitism, I ain't heard of none before. You gotta have a special goddamn silver spoon up your ass in order to get that treasure. What in the hell's wrong with this goddamn world? Anyway, I guess you gotta buy the special spoon. Is that correct? Get me one silver spoon on a silver platter, please. And uh, hold the resentment, please. Just get me a side of mayonnaise with that. <laughs> All right, my lady, she's running off. I'm going to hold up the back here and I'm going to get my shoddy ready. Pump action. Yeah, I have my gun out too, so he better watch out. There was a time when I would just try to take the peaceful route every time. It's not really the time. Sky looks like water. Look how beautiful this is. We're in Apache right, territory, like by the way, folks. Apache territory. This is where they like to hang out. As far as I'm concerned, they got a right to it. I ain't trying to make no trouble. I done made a few friends. My friend, uh, right, y'all see my boy. This uh, guy just keeps like, disappearing and spawning two feet from us. Very bizarre. No, no, he's not spawning. He's just hanging out. He don't like it. He'll watch, though. If you stop for a minute, he'll disappear and he'll be in front of you again. Really? He did it to me three times. Really? Is he a spook? I think he might be a spook. Look at that sky behind us. Wow, look at that sky behind us, baby. Wow. It looks like water. 
water, though. It's gorgeous. Florida? Water. Oh, it looks like water. Probably because I have, like, low res. Man, I'm going to tell you what. The blackness of them clouds against that sort of peachy orange sky. Ooh-wee. So where's this ghost fella? Is he supposed to pop up again in front of me? Are you sure you're not a little drunk on shine? Whoa! Honey. What? Honey. What? Hold on. Who is this son of a bitch? He just did it. Did he do it to you again? He did it. Give me space, baby. Right? I'll shoot you like a sick hound. Are you shooting him now? He drew on me. I didn't touch his horse. See, I, I knew oh, his, his horse is hurt. Hang on. Bring this horse back to life? I don't think so. I think he's dead, man. Sorry. He was spooky, though, wasn't he? He was real weird. Now, the we question just, like, is this. Spawn and sit there with a gun and just wait for you. What was that? Was now, very weird. is that a glitch or is that... Whatever it was, I just shot that ghost and his horse. But if he spawns up the road again, it's either a glitch or Halloween doesn't come early. I'll kill him again. I don't know. Uh-oh, somebody's in the thread. <laughs> hopefully we don't see him again. Yeah, hopefully we don't see that ghost one more time. I reckon that was quite spooky, lady. Quite spooky indeed. I got my eyes peeled for this weirdo. I'm trying to get you to the butcher, sir, so you can sell some fish. Hey, it's keyboards. It's keyboards. He's at work now. What's up? I was just going to say my Apache friend, Raulito's got some Apache blood in him, I believe. Ralito. Is he playing or is he? No, he's at work. Uh, hey, Ralito. I don't know if you can really watch, but I gotta make a. I got an offer. I got an offer for you. You'll see. Nice, homie. Yeah, this is deep role play so far. Now watch, the politicians in this goddamn town are corrupt. I want to be clear, real corrupt. As in, killing, maiming, stealing, and taking what they want, corrupt. Anyway. If you ask me in the town square, I don't know nothing, but if I'm going to speak to y'all, I'll be very honest about it. They are stealing, thieving, Low down, son of the bitches. But I think uh, this town's got a criminal element to it, despite its posh element. And you've ever seen a, a town that discovers they got gold or diamonds? Well, a whole lot of people buying French silk scarves, and what happens is you got a bunch of hillbillies, too much money, a lot of killing. Hey, Alley Cat Chi. Yes, sir. Where exactly are you, babe? Are we at the Moonshine Shack? I'm at the Butcher, sir. You're at the Butcher? Yeah. What town are we in, though? We are in Blackwater. Blackwater, eh? Selling some of this meat. I don't really eat most of Ah, I gotcha. Mostly only eat the big game. 
So steel head, steel head trout, seven fifty per trout. That's nice. That's nice right there. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Is I got about four of them, so I got about thirty dollars worth of uh, trout on me. I want to see if I can make an honest living there with the fish, because I sure do enjoy it. Keeps me out of trouble. Keeps me writing songs. I get out there and I start hearing a melody, maybe a chorus, maybe a little musical breakdown in the middle, and come up with something that I might want to say that I couldn't say any other way. You know what I mean, lady? All right, all right, all right. Hey there, butcher. What can you do for me? First of all, clean your face. You're covered in blood. <laughs> All right, look at this son of a bitch, just drenched in blood. He's like, how you doing? Anything I can do for you? Yep, watch, you're right, $22 worth of uh, trout. Okay. All right, the rest is up to me. Taylor, eh? The mortuary. Huh. The center of town ain't nothing but a pl place to put corpses, eh? Right next to the police department. Seems appropriate. Anyway. Howdy. Alley Cat, are you inside having a a little I'm in the, uh, uh, a saloon. Store because no, I'm in the general store, and the reason is, is because every week they give you a free outfit. You just have to go in and look for the items marked at zero dollar. Really? And, and if you don't do it, you don't get them. Is that how it works? That's how it works. And then if you have, if you already have <coughs> the color, you can't get it because it's only a specific color usually. But uh, you get. Whatever it is they're giving you that week, and so I'm just looking to see what the free outfit is and putting it together. All right, well, I respect that. thing to do but it's what I do sometimes and I'm not at all this. lady just something I've heard about and everybody likes doing stuff yeah don't worry about nothing let's see give me one yep. second All right, lady. So how are you doing with your outfits now? You got it all together or are you still working? Uh, almost 
done. Hey, take your time. I'm having a glass of water, ice cold have, from a spring. I have no idea what it's going to look like when I'm done. That's always the fun part. So I just throw it together and then it's just like a surprise. Yep, I got myself a glass of water from the Flatiron restaurant right there. They're closed for business, but they said they were opening soon. They had a glass of water right there for me. Oh boy, was that delicious. Delicious. <laughs> got myself some cigarettes. These are fancy ones I got from uh, New York City. Pretty nice. And then this one right here is another cigarette I got from uh, Texas. Hand rolled that some bitch. It's got a little something special in there, if you know what I mean. Yep. Wow. Y'all get that sensation sometimes? It's just make believe? Anyway. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This weed is good. I mean, this herb is good. I mean, this plant is good. I mean, like, do y'all ever get the feeling that sometimes you feel your heart racing and you just start going, man, this world is spinning fast. And then you relax and you realize it's not really spinning that fast, but then maybe you need to spin the other way. You know what I mean? And then you start going, wow, man, it's a pretty day, but I got to slow down. Slow down. Who's this? Hey, did y'all see a weird guy spawning up the road? I feel like I'm fucked up. I can't even. Is he heading into the, uh, where's he heading into? I thought that place was closed, the Flatiron Restaurant. Mm. Anyway, I need a goddamn drink. I've had this marijuana now. I guess that's what they call it. Mm. But I'm gonna have myself some canned pineapple, cause that's delicious. It was something I picked up down in the uh, Florida territory and down in the Points Caribbean pirate country. But more importantly, I got this rum here from Mexico. <whistles> That's delicious. That's damn delicious. <laughs> Is there a saloon around here? Is there a place to get drunk? No? This town dry? What the hell's wrong with these people? Man, I'm getting agitated now. Whew. Horse's ass. Folks, I want you to see what a horse's ass looks like. No, no, that's uh, not me. The one right next to me. That's a horse's ass. That's a real good ass right there. That's how you know a horse is good. You look him in the mouth, you look him in the ass. Get on, get. Get. taking care of these horses, the police horses. I was telling you, a police horse injured itself at the stable. And we had to put uh, some salve on it and reduce its food and give it sort of like bed treatment. If you know what I mean? Sort of like staying around. And looks a lot like this horse here, actually. Yep. Real nice horse. Yep. I like when a horse will try to nibble your ear off. Hey, you let him have it. If he wants to take his ear, he'll take your ear. But that's trust right there. You gotta let a horse go ahead and nibble on it just a little bit, otherwise he don't he don't believe you trust him. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Go ahead, take my ear. Take it if you want it. You can nibble on it. Go ahead. It's yours. You want it? <laughs> huh? No, he ain't, he ain't moved to play. He's got his ears pinned back. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Yeah, who's my big guy? Right there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I remember one night I got drunk. We pulled in a bounty down here, right here at this lynching post. And I picked up that body and I yelled into the town square, this piece of crap right here. <laughs> is dead. He ain't gonna be stealing from nobody or stealing nobody's horses or terrorizing no people up in the town. That's what's gonna happen around here. And people were scared, man. I was even scared myself. I thought, man, I done lost it. Yeah, but when 
then my sister comes. I got some bad news to tell her, and I don't know how she's going to take it. I didn't want to say nothing at first, but now I feel like I got her. So when she comes, I'll tell her real quick. She's like ripping off a band aid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may have to change into something. What if she comes back in a real pretty outfit? And all I'm got, I need her to go out and. Oh, it ain't pretty. So where are where are you? I'm gonna come meet you. I'm right here at the. Uh... Salute. It's. Uh... Well, I think you're right in front of me. Is this you? This is me. <laughs> look how crazy I look. Right, let me see here. <laughs> this is the free outfit. If you like it, you can go get it. Collect it yourself. What is it, man? So you get all the pieces. You get the hat, the coat, the shirt, the vest, the pants, the boots. Not the gloves. I had to buy. I had to put those in myself. But everything else. You so just go through the catalog, and everything that's free, you just collect. Yeah. So you just go through and look for anything that has a price of zero, and then once you select that, you look for the item that has the zero. Because not every color. It's like you only get the one color. It's like one item. It's like a one free outfit. You just have to have to go in and. Do you cool. pick the color? You got to pick the no. color. Oh, they tell you what the color is. They tell you what the item is. Oh, and what okay. The color is. But if you put it all together, if you get all the items, you get an outfit. Make sense? All right. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, listen. Um, I, I'll handle that at some later date. I think that sounds like a cool thing. To sort of like what you well, call like a big rummage big. sale. It's basically just like a picking through a box of stuff it at is. a rummage sale. I kind of like what, what you're you saying. But it's a different outfit every week, so if you don't get it this week, you'll get a different outfit. Later. Right, 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 right. And that's, you know, whatever. I see what your point. Hey, listen, I got some something to tell you there, sis. And right, uh, we're going to do some quiet collecting, but... Uh, oh, she's like, give me a Go ahead, tell me. No, but listen, we got to do one thing. I told you I was out there and I was doing some bounties and I was just out there on the road there for a while, but... The truth is, I promised the sheriff here of this town, remember that time I held up that body and I told everybody in town this piece of crap is dead and... Remember, hang on a second, come on up here. Come on up here. All right. Let's do it. Thank you. Now look. You ever see the movie Hang em High? No. <laughs> no, all right, let me not, not go down that route. It's a damn fine movie. That's not my point. Look, this town needs somebody to keep all the fucking rootin' tootin' assholes out. And I got to tell you, around here, there's a lot of them. If you go up in the countryside, anywhere around here, and I just told you the damn politicians themselves are corrupt, and you think this place ain't bad, you're wrong. Just because they got fancy tablecloths over at the poker match that you can't even afford to play in don't mean nothing. They stink and they rot rotten but the point is i want to do good right i done told you that so i promised the sheriff honey that we would just handle one of these things off the board i'll recognize his name when i see it i, I, I just I, yeah i just promised him one and i told him i got it no problem sir it ain't no problem at all i don't want no favors or special treatment but my word is my word if you catch my drift so look you can pick it but i need to see what i got here now watch i believe it is Sam Gardner, Raleigh Portal. Federal agents, that's the one Sam Gardner, Farrier Gardner was seen by multiple witnesses, bludgeoning to death, first Mr. Johnson, then Mr. Hepton. This is the son of a bitch, Sam Gardner. Step away and look at the board, honey. Sam Gardner's the fella he told me to take out. And you know what? As soon as I heard that story that he killed that couple, the husband and the wife. God knows what he did to the wife beforehand. I ain't liking it. Sam Gardner. You see him up there, honey? I do. Is that the guy? Let's get the some bitch, dead or alive. Right, and y'all know it. my policy, because dead is better than alive when it comes to a some bitch like Sam Gardner. All right. Let's go. Ready? God damn it. I promised the sheriff I'd take it, and I will. Let's All do right, it, honey. Let's try to do it and be efficient. I mean, I know I sound cruel and I don't mean to be, but let's just do it efficiently and make sure no innocents get hurt. Yep. Let's go. They say he's out the Downs Ranch. So we're going to take a look at it and me and my sister are going to head over there. We don't want to be suspicious. We ain't riding over there. We ain't talking to nobody. We ain't telling nobody where we're going. We're just 
heading over there. And by the way, uh, some better man might go and talk to this fella, but I ain't that better fella. What was his name again, honey? Sam something or other. Sam uh, Gardner. Gardner. Sam Gardner. I'm going to talk to him when I see him. Sam Gardner. He killed that couple in cold blood. You know, they had a newborn. They were planning on building a little house on a prairie up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say a little house on a prairie? That's what the man said. He had a kid and he was trying to build a house on a prairie. He thought he would have a bunch of children. And this guy, Sam Gardner, just snuffed him out just for his own goodwill. Thought he could Wait. get his horse and get out of one situation and ruin a nice, innocent couple's life like that. Sam Gardner, I hope you're enjoying your last rattlesnake dinner. Because, boy, we're coming for you. <laughs> Rattlesnake dinner, huh? That's what that a snake in the grass eats for dinner, don't he? More snake. <laughs> I don't know about that. Where am I going? Well, you know what, honey? The road has made me awful poetic. I reckon I can't help myself from stringing together things that seem to make sense. If nothing else, and the lyrics to a song. What are we doing here? What in the hell's going on? All right, Downs know. Ranch. Tell me to... That's all right. Let's just stay cool. Let's just stay cool. I'll tell you what. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. Sam Gardner, I hope you're a happy man right now, because you know what? Look at this. I want to fish here, honey. Where are we? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just one second. I don't you want to waste no time. fish in the middle of a... <laughs> Upper Montana River, though. I want to see where we are. We're north of Blackwater. All right. I didn't say I was fishing now. <laughs> of a bounty fish. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to. I said I needed to see where I was for later, ma'am. You know, taking bounties out ain't the only thing oh, that matters I to see. me. I see. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I'm like, you're talking, we're just going to stop and fish. <laughs> All right. This is beautiful. Right. I'm Upper Montana. This way. I think there's a bear coming. I feel a bad feeling here. Getting out the rifle just in case. But I'll tell you what, it ain't going to stop me because Sam Gardner's a dead man. Now watch, there was many witnesses that said they he killed the family in cold blood, honey. And his horse. Dang yeah. it. Well. Yeah, any man is going to kill a horse for no reason. Let me tell you something. Spite. Most people, I'd be more upset about the horse. But in this case, I heard they were fine people. Hey, hey Jack, didn't you just say you, you wanted to do less killing, though? <laughs> I did, but I promised the sheriff. And then when it comes down to it, I suppose my killing streak is probably good for humanity if I put it to good cause instead of getting into card fights like I used to when I was young. Now I just promise the sheriff of whatever town I'll take care of the bad fellers. That's what I do. Got it. But if I can, I'd rather just sit around and play the piano, play the banjo, hang out with my sister at the Manzanita or the Cattail Pond Saloon and just kind of enjoy life. I, I prefer it that way. I just made a promise to the sheriff, you understand? And by the way, when we're done with this, lovey, we can go right on to the gypsy. Sure we can. The gypsy, unless you need to see. Well, I, maybe you're right. Maybe I'll just let her wait and wait myself a little. Uh, all right, I like these woods up in here. I like where we are, honey. You best, leave me be if you ain't you best shut your mouth. <laughs> he don't know who he's talking to. Some people you can talk to that way. Other people you shouldn't. Now listen, this Sam Gardner done put us through a lot already. Before we get there, you need to smoke anything uh, or drink anything or take any bitters or something to make your, make your nerves steady because I'm going to tell you what, I have a feeling this is going to get quick and fast. Though my approach, if I may, sis, let's try to go in as stealth as we can. I don't, I don't need no survivors, but we can take them off from a hill 100 yards away I'm just as happy. I don't need to see their faces while I take them out. You hear me? Yeah, hang on. Let's take care of those things. We got stamina bitters. Bam. We got, yes, health cures. Bam.
Hmm. I don't have nothing for my. Uh... All right. Anyway, if you're ready, I'm ready, Lil. All right. One more thing. Hold on. Yep. I thought I had one, I guess not. Alright, let's just go. It's a beautiful morning too. I'd rather be fishing, but hell. Poor people can't even build a little family up on a hill without a some bitch like Sam Gardner. He's just an example of what the problem is. I don't even care about this some bitch. He may be charming as hell when I meet him, but I know one thing. He ain't got no feeling for regular people. That ain't good enough for me. You ever see the movie Bridges in Madison County? Anyway, I keep talking about <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Shut up. Do yourself a favor. You live another day. Why is everyone so cranky these days? That's what I'm saying. People are getting caught up in Can't money. Can't we all just get along? I think they get crazy. They start getting angry because they're chasing and they might be losing. You're not everybody's as smart to, as you are, sis. To, what happened to let's agree to disagree? <laughs> That's real 1845 of you, honey, and them years has <laughs> passed. This is 1877. It ain't like that no more. Oh, 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 Railroad yeah. tracks. We are close. Let's get down. Let's get down low. Get out the binoculars, see what we got going on here. Let's do it, honey, and watch. I agree. And watch, I got my bolt action. Find a spot before the target arrives, it says. All right, so let's go over here. Let's go over here. Stay low, stay out of distance. Stay behind things. Stay behind things. And look, you can see where they're little. You see, they see you already. You got it. I know. I know. I'm trying to get down. It's over. It's over. I took one out. Oh, dude. All right, fine. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stay away. Stay away. I think he's not going to come now, honey. He may not come. No, he's because... here. He's here. I see him. I see him. All right, he ran away. I'm going to try to catch him. Did you get him already, honey? No, I don't, oh, no, he went this way. He's running away. Come on, horse, come on. Come on. He went this way. All right, I'm chasing him, I'm chasing him. Oh shit, how'd he get fucking down there? God damn. I think we lost him. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Where is he, honey? I don't know, but he went down the hill that I can't seem to get to. Oh no, now there's like a, a some kind of thing getting me here. Come on, down, 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 down. Go, 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 go. Now, which way? Which way? This way. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Which way? All right, I'm on his trail. I'm on his trail. I think I got him in my sights. Hang in there, hang in there. 
It's down in the valley, honey. I don't know. See if you can see me on the map. That's all I can I'm tell trying. You. I'm trying. He's like, he's like running through woods and shit. I'm getting his ass. Alright, I got him. See if you can find me because I'm gonna need some backup, I think. Yep. I got him alive, so this is great. Oh, you don't need to get him alive. I could care less about that. <laughs> well, I like to get more money for my bounties. <laughs> All right. Heading to the next target. I don't know if you can see it or if you can see me. Valentine Sheriff's Office, yep. So any backup you can give me would be great. There you are. Thank you. Nice! We got this. Yep. It'll be my pleasure to kill as many of those sons of bitches I killed back at the camp. And believe me, I killed I see, a lot more I than I needed to. Up our, I feel them coming up on our backside. Don't worry. They're going to die if they do. This horse hang in there, baby. And look, Valentine is here already. Yes, sir, it is. We have got this. All right, that's my obligation to Valentine. I did grow up in this area, as you all know. That's why my sister's more evolved, you see. She brought him in alive and Sam Gardner kinda like Sam Gardner. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> the sheriff said if I was you I would have put a bullet in him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Hang on a second. I wonder if it's possible to uh thirty two gold, point thirty two gold, baby. If I may, if I may, sir. The sheriff's office. No, I'm looking for this Sam Gardner. I wanted to talk to him if I could, sir. I didn't expect him to come back alive. Where is he? Uh, I think they've taken him to the pantry. To the uh, incinerator? Something like that. AKA the court system. Anyway, well, I wanted to say something to the son of a bitch before he went off. But... Your horse is dirty and I'm going to clean him up for you. Oh, that's real nice, baby. Thank you. Well, no pun intended, but I could eat a horse. Are we going to go have a bite here at this damn uh, town square or what, honey? Sure. A bite and a drink. We done earned it before. I've been on traveling for weeks and weeks. Indeed. Doctor's office? Phew. Wow, this place is highfalutin. There never was a doctor's office. Only a mortuary. You know, this is all where it started, Jack. I think we need to get some almonds for old time's sake. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> this is the first town I showed you. You're right, honey. You're right. When I first came here, I was poor, poor as could be. Didn't have a two pennies to rub together. But I came in here and the almonds were free. Well, that's their old motto back before the old days. It used to be, hey, come on in, the almonds are free. 
rolling the hay. Man, these women want to offer a roll in the hay off quick around here. I like her style and I like her confidence. She's telling me I'm going to scream at the rafters. She's probably right. She's probably right. I think I will have almonds. I'm an old timer. I think I've had a fight with this fellow before and I think I beat him senseless. But anyway, I ain't trying to fight him today. Piano player stop. I don't reckon that's pretty cool. I'm overdressed. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run next door. Yeah, she's walking in here like a Russian princess. <laughs> a, little, a little too uh, warm clothing here. A little fluffy. This guy can play here. I wish you could tip him. Huh. He's all right. Yes, ma'am. Always. Well, no, the fish you're talking about is me. I, I just got a bunch of steelhead trout, so I smell a little fishy, but uh, I reckon what you're saying. Fish in the sea. What's she talking about? There ain't no sea around here. Hey, you take it easy. You take it easy. You take it easy. <laughs> Move right on into the next poor suspecting fella. Unsuspecting jackass. Let's see here. Well, it's pouring down rain right about now. Is it? It sure is. Ooh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right, I'm back. I'm upstairs just sitting down here for a minute, taking a load off. I'll see you down there. Hey, 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 there she is. A little more of a uh, Western vibe there, lady. How are you? Want a seat here? A little more appropriate for this seer saloon. Sure. Care to have some fun? This is what they mean by adult tree house. Anyway. <laughs> Should I care to have some fun? I like how they made the game so that they never, nothing ever happens. They're like, care to have some fun? You would have had fun. Nothing ever. There's no button where it's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, they're like, yeah, that's a little too much for the kids. But then again, the modders have probably all figured that out. I don't have this game on PC, but I sure would like to. I'll do some, immediately do a satire for my Follywood series. Maybe even some promo stuff for this. I like cinema modes for these games. All right. Well, Miss Alicat, I say we go collect one last... I thought you were grabbing a room in here. I'd say we go grab one last I, little I thing. I was, because it's raining outside. Is it? Well, if it's raining, we can stick around for a minute. Hey, I don't need Does to run out. Stop? Maybe, maybe the rain stopped. Let's check and see. Oh, it's like Florida weather, oh, eh? Oh, yeah. No, it's it's like thunder. It's coming well, I'm just going to have a cigarette on the porch then. Not like more than a driving cold rain and a nice warm saloon to hang out in. Good combination. Besides, this piano player is tearing it up. And Clementine, oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling, Clementine. I like it. Great song. Great song. Ooh, I tell you what, I need to head on down to this hotel and get a rum. Yep, get a rum, sleep like a baby. That little tent ain't gonna do it no more. 
Not tonight. Not tonight. Well, Here a she is. Right across the street. Hey, darling, you staying at that hotel, aren't you? I believe she is. A lot of these girls are staying over at that hotel. Yep, that one right there. That's where they sleep and ply their trade. Yep, it's where she heading right now. What did I tell you? All these working girls sleep up in that hotel right there. The upstairs, damn cat house up there. But what you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do? Menu: beef chili tonight, lambs, lambs fry, and beef chili. Well, I'll tell you what, a fella could do worse, a lot worse. Here's what I'm gonna get. I told y'all I needed to eat. I did exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's see. Boiled egg for dinner? What the hell kind of shit is this? Didn't they used to have a little menu here where you could order some food? Uh, not in the online. What? Yeah, that little thing used to be a menu. You could sit down and order some food on it. I think you have to be in the real game. Now they offer you just a pickled egg. But you could sit down with me and we could just have a little pretend. Nope. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A pretend meal. I demand realism. <laughs> you're like, this is a game. Like, okay, you're right. Anyway, my lady, I think, uh, if I may say, uh, I think this game and my reality have just intertwined. And what I mean by that, if I could be clear, is um, I'm hungrier than hell. Mm. And I need to stop and take a break, probably. I like your gloves with the finger cut out. What's that finger do? Uh, that's for shooting. <laughs> that's a trigger finger. Nice, warm, but the one finger that's important is free. So you can really feel the pulse of that that uh, trigger, huh? Indeed. All right, all right, all right. This guy yeah, can really play the piano, uh, huh, honey? Uh, I could definitely go for a bowl of beef stew. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. When they offered the beef chili, I was like, why well, get a pickled egg? And then you feel like an asshole. Anyway, that pickled egg was trash. <laughs> eh, this is my kind of place, though. Where's that? Come on, piano player. He's burning it up, isn't he? Oh, he's going to play some, some dainty-ass music. I get it. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You're mighty sweet. Sorry. <laughs> Just made me laugh. Well, I think the rain has stopped. All right, baby. Well, listen. I'm, I'm going to head over to that answer. hotel and grab myself about four hours of sleep, maybe a hot bath with one of these beautiful girls. And uh, I think I'll wake up a brand new person in the morning. But I got to tell you, it's beautiful seeing you. Where are you staying tonight, honey? At the hotel or... I think I'm going to stay at the hotel too, treat myself to a room. Why not? We'll just get a couple of rooms here at the hotel and call it a night. Yeah. And tomorrow morning we'll be back at it. I believe if y'all are tuning in, and I mean that in real time, uh, there's no reason we can't uh, do this again tomorrow. Right, lady? I think so. Yep. I am. Uh, yeah, I have no plans tomorrow. There's the hotel right there. Indeed. Vibrating. Vibrating. Yep. Wait a second. What was that? Oh. There's yep. There. Here's the proprietor. How you doing there, sir? How are you? Yeah. Hello. How are you, my brother? Yep, my sister uh, and I are going to both take the rooms. Thank you very much, sir. This is a luxury hotel. Little luxury video. hotel. This is beautiful. Yep, it's awful pretty. Very rusticated. Is that even a word? Rusticated? Maybe not. 
So this is my room, this one here? I suppose it is, sir. This will be my room. Well, it's beautiful in here. Hey, let me see your room real quick, love. I'm gonna, I'll be fine in that one. This is your room right here? All right, well, listen, have yourself a nice, quiet evening. Dainty, it's got a nice little fire going. If you need me to get some firewood, I'll tell the old fellow to get it. And, um, get, get yourself some shut-eye, lady. Hey, and let me just say one more thing. I miss you a whole bunch. It was really, really good seeing you. And uh, come tomorrow, we'll do a little more, uh, little more fun stuff, a little more crazy stuff. Catch my drift, yeah? Yep, sounds good. All right, listen, if you need firewood, you let me know. Enjoy this. Your room's a little fluffier than mine, I believe. Mine's a little more beat down, maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I made that up. Oh, I know what, though. Before I go to sleep, let me get a nightcap. Now, usually, if you play your cards right, let me just see here, I believe. shouldn't really be rummaging through this drawer, but if anyone asks me, I'll tell them I'm looking for a, a Bible. <laughs> huh. Like the little kick right there. Yeah, it's a quiet rainy night here in Valentine. Thanks to my sister, we didn't even have to kill that stupid Sam Gardner. Yep, stupid Sam Gardner. <laughs> Look at this town, I'm trying to wake up in the morning. Yep, I remember this town was half this size when I was a kid. Look at this, now there's what you might call suburbs. <laughs> Well, got a cherry wood comb up here. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, so listen, Alley Cat, I think I'm going to end this stream and say. It's an absolute pleasure hanging out. Let's see. Well, let me go into bed. Can I get into bed? No. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. Hey, uh, in real life, though, I think I need to sleep as well just for a minute. But uh, this was crazy fun. And um, people, thank you for tuning in. Alley Cat, it's really, really nice hanging out with you. And... Um, yeah, I got more coming later, but I probably need to close my eyes for a minute. So I bid you all adieu. May you get a good night's sleep in Valentine, each and every one of you. Ciao.